Hello, my crafty loving friends. Welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly and happy Valentine's Day, almost. So I'm a little bit behind the ball, but I got a couple things that I found that I can do up that are hearts that I don't have to already make. I thrifted these a long time ago, but um, I just dug them out and I was like, I really need to do something with these. So here we go. Okay, so I have this a uh, little pocket, metal pocket. It's very dirty, so I'm give it a wipe. It's got uh, some rust or something on there. Something was spilled and ate away at it. It's a really pretty little scene, but we're gonna do something a little different. So I'm gonna take the sticker off. It says it was a dollar wherever I bought it from. So we're gonna try and get that off. May have to use the dryer to heat it up. Nope. And I've got this crazy mess up here. We'll take off. Put that in the trash. There we go. All right. So first thing we're going to do is paint this all black. This part's going to be covered over, but I don't, it's uh, with some burlap, but it's got um, a lot of wide holes in it, so I'm thinking you can see through it. So what we're going to do is just paint it, and then we won't have to worry about seeing through it. Whatever you see will be black. Okay, so I have two pieces here. I got this little one because I was wondering if maybe if it would fit without me cutting that bigger piece. Jeez, it almost will fit. Almost. Yeah, I'm thinking it will. And I kind of like these frayed edges on here. We may try and keep that. All right, so. I have my glue gun and figure out which side is better. I guess it doesn't matter. And I'm gonna take this piece off. I'm just doing this this half front part. Alright, go up around. Too, too tight. If you go too tight, it will take those holes and make them even, even um, bigger. Let's see if we can trim this a little. right there but that's okay. All right, I'm going to trim off these little bits just a little. I kind of like them sticking out over the edge. Kind of gives it some 
character. And then places where it doesn't match up, we can just pull off those edges. There's that part. I really like this ribbon and I want to incorporate it. All right. And then I have this garland that I got, just brand new, just got it. I'll put a link down in the description for you guys to check out. Uh, if you're interested in it, there'll be an Amazon affiliate link that you can check out. So I just spun off, I don't know how many, one, two, three, five pieces. We're gonna see if that'll do it for this. And I'm going to curl these up to make them look a little bit fuller. Just a little bit. Okay. And they're gonna go right in the pocket. I think five will be plenty. I'm just using a glue stick. I like the size of this glue stick because it's, it's uh, fairly big around and thick so that your loops on your on your berries will be a little bigger so they are not so tight. The smaller the loop, the tighter it is and it just, and there's a time and a place for it and you could mix it up. These are burgundy pit berries with white or, I don't know, maybe it's off white actually. Okay, so I'm gonna take some of this bigger, thicker jute twine also link down in the description and I'm going to do a little outline of it around here with some glue. going the wrong way. Something bumped up a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna make a little tag for my little hanger that I just made. So this is like a background and these are tiny little hearts. So we're going to do the tiny little hearts on here and I'm going to do it in, I believe, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna do it in white. That's why I have that here. I guess I've decided white. I've gone back and forth on color, but I think white will work well.
Okay, and for last, we're going to um, paint this skewer black and then take some ribbon and wrap it around. So let me paint the skewer black first. I'm just gonna go all the way, just cover it. it doesn't have to be the whole skewer because I'm gonna cut it off. To make it about the same length as this one. So that's about all I need. Black and white checked ribbon that's like the edges of the other ribbon and a little bit of glue. And I'm gonna just wrap this first one on there so that it stays. And then I'm going to go down just a little bit and then make a little bit of a loop so it sticks out and stick it to the glue. Go down a little bit, turn it, make a little bit of a loop so it sticks out. This one's gonna stick out more than this one. See how this one's a little tighter? That's okay. I actually could probably take it apart and fix it, but I kinda like it. All right, so do it again. Loop, glue, and then loop and wrap around. Glue, loop, wrap around. And I'm gonna go all the way down the stick all right, so I'm gonna cut that off right where I have the glue. Wrap it around so it'll stay. Wire cutters, because that's what I have. And how long do I want that? Yeah, cut it off right about there so it'll stick out. One made, it's kind of in the middle. And then we're gonna put one down a little bit forward and off to the side. And the same with this one, a little bit forward, find a spot and tuck it down in there, off to the side, give them a little turn so that they're nice and the front is there. And just keep tweaking. And there we go. So there's the little pins. And so that just takes that and brings it up onto, just up a little bit higher. Okay, here's a candle holder, heart-shaped. It um, looks like it's cracked in the back, but I got this at probably Goodwill, who knows, um, some thrift store somewhere. And the top was missing on it, but I thought that's okay. Um, I can find something to put on there. And I have this little, it's a, it's a cover to, I don't know, a creamer jar or, I'm not even sure, but I thought that I could, I could probably drill a hole and screw that in there, but I think I'm going to try to uh, E6000 and hot glue and put that on there and see if that will stay. If not, I'll have to drill a hole and put it in there. Um, but what I wanna do first is paint this all a burgundy color. This is a uh, regular latex paint that I've added powder to to make it um, chalk paint. Okay, so now that's all covered and dry, we're going to crackle paint using Mod Podge. And we're gonna do like we do with, with regular glue. We're going to just spread it on, depending on how thick you do it, is how big your crackle's gonna be. The thicker, the bigger the cracks. Go. 
I'm gonna use Waverly in, in plaster because I want an off-white color because of the lace I'm going to be using. So let's get some paint on there. And here I want to be careful. Again, you don't want to go over it a bunch of times and make it too thin. And then if you go over it too many times, it takes off the glue or the Mod Podge, whatever you decide you want to use. Now the Mod Podge, when it dries, will be clear. The paint obviously will not. So if you get it anywhere you don't want it, just know that you'll have to retouch that up. So I'm gonna help it along and we'll see if we can see it while I, um, while I dry it. Just a little bit more here on this edge. There we go. Okay, let's see if we can see the crackle show up. It's all dry it's been sitting here all day so I'm gonna go ahead and get started I want to put this piece of lace around the outside of the candle cup so that it'll kind of cover that up and you won't even know that it's something that it's not or something that it is I guess so there's that and that already looks so much better you wouldn't know that's a cover, I don't believe. All right, put a little bit more glue in there so she'll stay. Okay, so now what I need to do is make sure that this end goes in the back. And I'm going to put some E6000. with the hot glue so that the hot glue will hold it on immediately and hopefully where's the back right there hopefully I'll be able to work with it this came from that garland that I had for the other project and I am going to glue them inside the candle cup so that they stick out. But I want them to stay in the cup and not fall out. So I've got a little bit of a stem and I'm just setting it down in there. I'm, I cut up some, uh, some ribbon that I had. I had some plain burgundy ribbon and then I have this more of this lace ribbon that I wanted to use to tie the two in. So I'm going to just crisscross these. Like that. And I should have done it with this underneath it. All right. And then I'm going to tie them together with this twine. I'm going to turn it a little if I can and try to make a bow out of this knot that I made. And then I want to just kind of stretch out this to there and that is there. 
see if I can get this in the middle. Ooh, need some more glue. Okay, so going a little bit backwards, I probably shouldn't have put this on, but I didn't realize that I thought I wanted to put a little antiquing wax on around the edges and just feather it in a little bit, just to give it a little bit of a older look to it. So I'm gonna take some antique wax that's been watered down and I'm, I wiped off my brush a little bit just so I can to get a feel of what I've got going on here. Now this has been spray sealed. So let's see what that looks like. I want to go heavier. It's just a light Just a little bit of a light um, darkening of it. I don't like the edge there. So. You see the difference between the two? How this one's done and this one isn't? It's just a little bit of antiquing. I can match this side. Oh yeah, that's much better. I like that much better. All right, let's see it all put together. Oh my gosh, guys, so what do you think? Happy Valentine's Day, so cute. Love both of these. I think they came out really awesome. If you're interested in either one of these or any of the other items that I've made, check out my Etsy shop. The link will be down in the description. If you're also interested in, in most of the items that I've used to create these, I should have Amazon affiliate links down in the description as well for most of the items that I've used here if I can find it there. So I have another video on crackle paint that you guys can check out if you're interested in and I'll link it over here. And also I did some rustic hearts last year around Valentine's Day and I'll link that video up here. So thanks for watching guys and have a great day.